Hello, this is Enthusiastic Steve, uh, call sign uh, Mike Sits uh, Whiskey Victor Victor. I've been the owner of a Exugi G90 SDR transceiver for the last few weeks now, and um, I've been asked many questions about the radio. So I thought I'd put together a quick video to show you the, show the uh, transceiver and give you my views, the positive and the negatives on this uh, new SDR. Wow, what a nice intro to the Exugi, um, if that's how you pronounce it, X-I-E-G-U, the G90 SDR HF transceiver. Not just an amateur band transmitter, but an HF receiver from 500 kilohertz all the way up to 30 megs. Why has this G90 radio become so popular over the uh, last year? Well, it's, it's a budget radio, but it's packed with features. Let's start. It's a HF, uh, 500 kilohertz, as I said, to 30 megahertz coverage. It does AM, it does CW, it does a lower sideband and upper sideband. It will have the ability to do uh, FM in the future where, with an add-on. The radio is variable power between 1 watt and 20 watts. It's got a colourful display, albeit tiny, but it is a colourful, clear display. And that display gives you lots of information. It's dual VFO. The, has a water, has, the display has a waterfall display. And you can see adjacent channels and uh, the activity and strength. You can adjust the filters. It's got a noise blanker. It's got AGC. Um, and the, the big bonuses are it comes with its inbuilt tuner. Now this tuner is not just a weak, feeble little cheap tuner um, on even more expensive radios which only tune, so say, a 3 to 1. This tuner will tune almost anything. Uh, my 40 meter delta loop, I can actually tune it to top band. Absolutely amazing. Whereas I've got a manual tuner here and that won't even get anywhere near it. So top marks for the tuner. It's also got an antenna analyzer on it and you can uh, spread that over five kilohertz and it'll give you an indication of where your antenna is resonant. So again, you've got an antenna tuner, you've got an antenna, antenna analyzer. It is a very solid all round radio. So let's take a, a closer look at the radio in operation. Um, I've zoomed into the front screen. We've got uh, a couple of rotary controls, uh, volume control at the top, uh, multi-function control on the bottom you've got the, your tuning knob over this side and we have some uh, small plastic little uh, pressy buttons um, which gives you various options there's a function light there it comes on which gives you more options on the buttons and you've got band controls along the top it looks complicated but uh, if you have one of these within 10 minutes you should be able to find your way around it very easily indeed we'll start off where we started earlier um, on the uh, broadcast band and this is just some of the audio from uh, an AM signal and it's just a simple process of uh, pressing the buttons on top to swap bands we're going to top band got quite a low uh, noise uh, floor level today so it's pretty good few stations there uh, we're going up to three megs we'll have a quick see if there's any on any activity a little bit noisy as uh, 80 meters can be Yeah, let's move on. Another five megs. Forty meters. And we can see a station there popping up on the waterfall. Germany four, Victor, Sugar, Japan, Darling Bot. 
as you see the audio is uh, is cracking audio it's got a little inbuilt speaker you can add an external speaker but to be honest the volume on this radio is tremendous you can use it in a noisy environment i've taken it mobile in the car to use and um no problems oh, whatsoever CQ, CQ, CQ. george Paul, victor sugar japan g4 that's j golf for victor sierra julia stunning mark and again, we just flick through the bands. And the actual scale you can actually change as well. So um, we'll just turn the volume down there and hold it there for a moment. Let's just take a closer look at the actual uh, display itself. It's only about one and a quarter inches wide or square. Um, but you've got a good clear information in there. The largest one is the VFO you're on the frequency. At the moment we're on 21420. Uh, the tuning knob is you press the button and it will, as you can see on the numbers, the, it's changing from on the four. So you can change the fours and go down to smaller digits. You can fine tune it right down to, um, there you go, right down to hertz. So it's very, very easy to use. Um, the second one is the VFOB, and you can switch between the VFOs. You've got a signal strength meter and power meter underneath that. SWR meter to the right, but that SWR meter can be uh, user-defined. You can have that as the uh, power settings or the SWR um, or other, op other options on there as well. The waterfall display. At the moment, the uh, it's scale quite low, but you can just matter of pressing the, uh, a couple of buttons. And you can turn the scale down or you can turn the scale up. So if you've got a lot of large noisy environment, uh, it doesn't affect the signal receive at all. It just shows the display in large or smaller. So I'll just try and set it so it's as low as possible to get as best information I can on the screen. As uh, simple as that. And you, there are other options as well. Uh, you can actually make it uh, fast or slow reacting on the waterfall which can help as well. It does get a little bit excitable when it's on fast, so it's nice and calm on slow settings. It's good on the eye, and you can see the information clearly, which is what you need to do. So that's the display. Top right, uh, at the top, sorry, you've got the AGC. Um, you've got automatic, you've got slow, fast, or off. And you've got a, a voltage uh, level at the top, which gives you an indication of the voltage you're coming into the radio. Now, I'm running off a uh, power supply here in the uh, little corner of the room and I'm getting a nice steady 13.4 volts. This radio can work as low as about eight volts and it can work up to a maximum of 17 volts. Um, now, that gives you the option if you go out portable, for those who like portable operations and a rucksack, a lot of people use LiPo batteries. And I know for a fact you can link, link LiPos together and uh, I think they're around about 16 volts. So you can use 16 volts on this radio. So it gives you many, many options. Now, as I said just now, this radio has got a tuner on it. Now, we are fairly resonant on 21 megs at the moment, even though we're slightly uh, off there. We come down the, to the middle of the band. Okay, and it's just a matter of pressing and holding one button, just off shot. And it's as quick as that. Not only is it a very good tuner, it is very fast indeed. We've got a little signal coming up, or some interference. Let's see what we can hear. But no, the tuner works a treat, and even down on 80 meters, it will tune. Just takes a couple of seconds longer, but it, it gets there, and I've not been able to not tune on any band yet using a 40 meter delta loop. Not saying it's going to be that efficient, but it's usable. Also, the antenna analyzer is a, a very good useful tool i've tuned to uh just outside the 14 megs uh, area so my delta loop will not be resonant and uh, i'll show you the results that this uh, displays simple press of a button and you can see there from 14.3 it's rising as it goes up to across to 14.9 which you would expect so uh, i've got a lower SWR right down the bottom end and it's not, not actually too bad when it rises up to 14.9 the delta loop is actually quite wide band you get a few uh, little anomalies every now and again but it is actually a very good antenna analyzer
And one more bonus on this radio, it has a CW decoder. And it's quite effective. I've used the, uh, some CW decoders in the past, and sometimes they're very finicky. This thing, you just tune until you uh, tune onto the signal, get it nice clear audio, and once it locks on, you get a little flashing light in the corner, and up comes the uh, information along the bottom, and it's it's it can be fairly accurate. If you get a good signal, good clean signal, you get some lovely contacts on it. Of course, you can actually plug in a Kia, and it's got various uh, options on the on the uh, menu for CW, so you can tap away to your heart's content. You can also connect this radio up using a little puck, which uh, Xugi supply to help along with uh, connecting it to a computer for your digital data modes, your FT8s, your PSK, RTTY, um, slow scan TV, you name it. You can plug it into this already made little puck. They call it a puck. It's like a little, because it, it's like a little golf hockey puck. Um, it's available, comes in a box with all the leads you need. And you just put connectors on the end, which come with it and uh, connect it to your computer and away you go. There are other ways you can actually connect it to your computer, but Exugi do a uh, self-contained little kit, which is very useful. Other options on this radio at the moment is you can buy a, a stand, you can buy a little fan unit, a little temperature gauge. Um, not that it's going to get that hot on running at a maximum of 20 watts on, say, CW or data modes, but they do supply a little fan as well to keep, it, keep things cool and you can monitor how the radio is progressing. Uh, so if you're on whisper and things like that, uh, on lower power, and you're transmitting for a long time. Uh, what else do they do? Well, they're about to come out with very shortly a large, if you're a bit worried and troubled by the small screen, they are bringing out a larger display, a colour display. Um, larger than a, larger, it looks like it's going to be larger than a smartphone. Um, somewhere between a smartphone and a tablet. You're going to have all the functions of the radio on that screen, all touch sensitive. And it's also going to allow you via software to transmit in FM as well. Now, one question I keep getting asked on this, and you go on some of the forums and you sometimes get blocked as soon as you use the uh, term wide banding. Um, can you open this radio up to the full frequency range? For those out there like 11 meters, uh, 27 megs, um, it doesn't cover it. You can listen to 11 megs at the moment. And uh, you can only trans, but you can only listen on sideband and AM. So those who wish to listen on FM would have to wait till the other module comes out. But if you wanted to transmit on 27 megs, um, can you do it on this radio? I get, I get asked. Well, you can. Exugi uh, and the company do not recommend modern this uh, radio or wide band in it. Um, but it is possible, and there are video videos on the internet. Uh, out there uh, on how to do it I think it's all to do with removing uh, some uh, a component or a couple of components off of one of the boards so uh, any warranty goes out the window of course but I believe those who have done it have successfully used this radio on sideband and AM on the 27 megs band of course you know for those who want to go that route uh, with the fully adjustable power settings on here, it would make a very good radio to connect up to an amplifier, a small set, a small amplifier, if that's the way you wish to go with it. But as it stands, uh, this radio is in standard format. It's not been modded at all. Um, and you say it's got the tuner, the analyzer, the CW reader. Um, to me, it's I'm giving this radio about. If I was to score out a ten, I'll give it about a nine point eight. Two things two negatives okay and they're one's minor and one could be a niggle now i've used this in this radio in my car uh the the display brightness is fully adjustable but in direct sunlight or bright sunlight you can struggle to read the information which is not very useful uh, my Linko radio has got an LCD display with very bright light and you can read that in direct sunlight this one you do need to maybe put a shade over the top of your hand sometimes to see what's going on on the screen other than that the only other niggle I've got is my NB button which is the noise blanker at the bottom there is not working it could be just the fact I need to press it harder, but I don't want to risk breaking it. Um, 
or something like that maybe a little bit of dirt on the contact it could be cleaned off but my mb button is not working my noise blanker fortunately within the menu i can uh, and have set the noise blanker to one of the function buttons on the microphone so again the microphone you can do every almost everything from it You've got all the bands on the microphone that you can just put yeah, as 1.835, 7 megs. You can go direct to any of the bands directly from there. You can do uh, direct frequency input, um, general coverage. You can adjust the filters. You can do the modes. There's your function buttons. You can press them. You've got uh, VFOs and memory. You can write to memory. You can do everything you want to do, uh, change the frequencies, etc., all from the microphone. So you are not tied to just the front of this radio. Um, the head unit comes off. There you go, another bonus. I forgot to tell you that one. The radio head separates from the radio body. It comes with that, uh, comes with a cable in the actual kit, in the box itself when you buy it. Uh, so you can mount the radio out of sight, under the seat, or anywhere else. And the head unit you can mount on the dashboard in your car or on your radio shack on the, on the upper shelves for clarity. Um, and you can move it around. This radio, what do you think it costs? Well, you can pay up to £500 for this radio. Certain companies like Amazon. Um, but I got mine for a company in England, uh, a dealer called Cinetol. And they import these and distribute them. And I paid the total price of £389. What well, for a radio like this, that is a bargain. Considering that the Yaesu 450s and other budget radios that don't have waterfall displays or um, you know, antenna analyzers on them, uh, they're up now to the 450 £500 plus mark. So this radio is very good value for money. Very small, very compact, has lots of options on it. I'm loving it. Uh, it's a keeper and looking forward to using it both at home as a base radio and mobile as well. That is the Exugi G90 HF transceiver SDR radio. Well, that was my thoughts on the Exugi G90 SDR radio. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and found some uh, useful information. If you're considering buying one, we'll have one already. Um, I shall leave you with a few images I took earlier of the radio close up to show you around it. It's got on the uh, little buffers on them as well, front and back, so the little, the little metal arms to uh, give it protection. So you'll see that in the following pictures. So all the best, 73, stay safe. This has been Enthusiastic Steve, Mike Sitz, Whiskey Victor, Victor. Cheers.